One of the things I love to do is keep exploring how I can test new features on WordPress. I recently launched my podcast and when I created my page on my website, and that is shailajavi.com forward slash podcast, I wanted a fantastic way for people to be able to click on an image and be directly taken to a relevant episode. But I wasn't able to do it with a built-in Gutenberg editor. And I realized that I was unable to add what I call custom links to different images in a specific gallery of images in WordPress. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can direct a specific image in a gallery to go to a specific link outside of WordPress. So this, if you notice here, if I hover over the image, it actually shows, watch this place at the bottom or left of the screen, you'll notice that it actually shows the episode to which I am linking the image. So this one links to episode one, this one links to episode two, this one links to episode three and so on. So how did I come up with this particular technique? The first thing you need to do when you're on self-hosted WordPress is go to the add plugins page. You'll see that in the left of your sidebar and key words to be used are responsive grid. So you'll see this particular plugin, it's called the responsive grid gallery with custom links. I've already activated it. Otherwise you'll see this option install now. After you install it, you'll see the option to activate it. Make sure that it is compatible with your version of WordPress and also check when it was last updated. This is always important whenever you install a new plugin. Once you've installed and activated the plugin, you'll see something called the responsive grid gallery option under your settings over here. There are two things which you need to keep in mind. One is called gallery items. The other is called gallery templates. And I'll explain both of these right now. The first thing we're going to be talking about is the gallery template. Now in the gallery template, you can create a template of your own. So whenever you decide to add a new template, you can decide how many columns you want it to have. I typically recommend a three column grid because it's easier for you to structure it. And you can decide if you want to have any spaces between the images. So you can give a left and right margin, a bottom margin, I leave this to you to figure it out. It's not, it's not really something too complicated, so you can just figure it out. Give the gallery name uh, a name. So if this particular grid of yours you want to create is something to which you want to add specific images, so you can give any name that you want. So for instance, if you notice in my list of gallery templates, I've created two templates so far. One, I call the first one the three row grid. I call the next one episode four to six. So this is how it will look. Now we come to adding items to our grid gallery. Now in grid gallery, what that means is what are the images you want to add into each gallery? So how do we, how do we come across this? The first thing you need to do is ensure that you've uploaded all the images that you want to your media library. So I've, as you see, I've uploaded up to six images each linking to a separate podcast episode of mine. So you can see episode one, two, three, four, five, six. So when I'm creating my gallery, I'm going to just say, add a new item. And I'm just going to show it for, you for one particular image right now. So head into media library, click on the image that you want added to that particular gallery. Copy this URL. Can you see this where it says file URL? Copy this URL to your clipboard and add the image over here. And when you do that, it asks you if you want to name it anything. The easiest thing I would say is just give it a very easy to remember name. So I just call it something like episode one. And then it asks you, where do you want this image to link to? So I wanted to link to my podcast episode outside of the uh, website. So I'm going to just click on this and get the podcast episode link. As you can see, that is this one. And I'm just going to add the image link over here. After you've added the image URL, as well as the link URL, that is the link to which you want the image to direct, select the template to which you want to add this particular image. So you can pick whichever template you have created. Once you have created that, go back 
and you've added, and I typically recommend adding as many images as you want in a particular gallery. So if you want three images or four images or two images, make sure you've added the respective images and then go to gallery templates, go to gallery templates and click on the image grid that you created. So in this case, I'm going to pick the first one, which was, which is what I labeled the three row grid. Click on the short code option. The short code option is over here. So just copy the whole thing. And you'll notice in my podcast page, I can add a short code. So the way you do this is you can click on add a new block and search for short code. So as you can see, short code appears over here. So I've added that short code over here. And once I've added the short code, I'm just going to update this for a second. And I'm going to show you how the page will actually look. So this is the this is the list of so as you see this is the first gallery template this is the second gallery template and obviously the first gallery template repeats here again because I've added the same short code and you can test to see if your images are leading off the screen to a specific URL by clicking on each image and ensuring that the links work and this way you're able to add what I call our custom links to specific images in your WordPress gallery. So I hope this was a useful tutorial. Let me know in the comments.